Today's video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. Ever since I got these lights, they have made their way onto pretty much everything I've been shooting. And it's not that I don't have any other lights at my disposal, there is just barely any situation where there isn't a use case for one of these lights. They are small, they're convenient, and they're versatile, so it's quite simply the path of least resistance to want to resort to one of these first. These are the LS60D and 60X from Aperture's Lightstorm series. The D version means it's 5600 Kelvin daylight only, while the X version is bicolor. What's special about these is they've got built-in optics, so you can flood or spot the beam, just like a good old tungsten Fresnel. In fact, true to Aperture's claims, when you hold a 60D up against a 650 watt tungsten Fresnel, the 60 watt LED does throw out as much light as the 650 watt incandescent, and that's considering a very comparable beam angle and illumination area. If you go for the Bicolor 60X, it will cost you roughly one stop of intensity even at its brightest color temperature, which is around 4500 Kelvin. But unlike their tungsten counterparts, the hottest these lights are ever gonna get is warm. The built-in flood and spot controls are also very similar to using a Fresnel attachment on a conventional Bowen's Mount COB light, except here, the whole mechanism is conveniently internalized in this canister. But being able to spot and flood is only kind of where the versatility of this light begins, because there are so many situations where these lights can prove themselves useful. But first, let's acknowledge the fact that good lighting is such a major criteria for a good image. But one way you can elevate that image to a whole new level is by pairing it with a good piece of music. Imagine how awkward this video's intro would be if it did not have music. Now, getting a hold of good music, then having to license it so you can use it legally in your work can be a stressful process, but Epidemic Sound, which is where I got my music from, has really simplified that process into an easy subscription model. I'm on their commercial plan, which lets me download music from their collection of over 35,000 tracks, and they'll all be legally covered for social media, websites, and even unlimited use for digital ads. But the commercial plan also comes with full sub-licensing rights, meaning if you're producing work for a third party, your client is also protected from copyright issues when they publish your work containing music from Epidemic. Epidemic Sound exclusively owns 100% of the rights to every piece of music they offer, so it is very safe to use with clients. You can whitelist your clients' videos using Epidemic's clearing tool, or you can even save time by letting your clients do it themselves, and that process is as convenient as sending them a link. I also love how all of Epidemic's tracks come in four stems, which adds so much versatility to ways you can edit them. Try it for yourself, sign up for the commercial plan using the link in the description, and you'll get a one month trial completely free. Any videos you use during that trial will remain safe and protected, even if you cancel your subscription after your trial month is over. Link below. Now you may have noticed that the LS60s do not have a Bowens mount. Instead, they have this drop-in accessory mounting system that very much reminds me of the scrim holders on ye olde tungsten lights. But you simply drop an accessory in, turn this claw on top to secure it, then click this metal tab to lock the claw in place. Now this mounting system does not mean you're locked out of using Bowens mount modifiers. The LS60s do ship with a Bowens mount adapter, so if you wanted to throw on something like a Light Dome SE, you could. Now it is a 60 watt fixture, so with large modifiers like the Light Dome, output intensity will be somewhat limited, but in controlled environments, it is very much workable. With accessories like the Lantern, coverage is a bit lopsided since the LS60s throw out a narrow beam, but with a bit of additional diffusion, it is again totally workable. 
Aperture does have a number of accessories that were designed to work natively with the LS60s. These do not require any adapters. And one of these accessories are the eight leaf barn doors that ship with the light. These are fairly decent at shaping the light output. It's got these helper flags on the side that fold out, so they've got more coverage on the sides. And I am very glad that Aperture is not making us buy these separately. The accessories that are so separately, there's only two at the moment, the LS60 softbox and the Spotlight Mini Zoom. The LS60 softbox is, coincidentally, $60. It's a one by one softbox, perfectly sized so the light just fully covers its entire area when set to full flood. Now it's not the biggest softbox, but it is incredibly lightweight and very fast to throw on. It can give you decently soft shadows when close lighting smaller subjects, comes with a honeycomb grid and two densities of diffusion. Definitely something handy if you have an LS60. The Spotlight Mini Zoom, on the other hand, is a complete beast on its own. It gives your LS60 lights a whole new set of superpowers and is one of my favorite lighting accessories of all time. I've made a dedicated video for the Spotlight Mini Zoom. It's up here in the corner and the description box if you want to check it out. Now, in terms of ways you can power these LS60 lights, there are three options. You've got the good old AC adapter, you've got DTAP, and you can even power it off Sony NPF batteries. The adapter, DTAP cable, and battery plate are all included with the light. If you're going the NPF battery route, you need two batteries to run the light at full power. If you attach only one battery, you can still run the light, but at half power. Now that doesn't mean the light will stop you from dimming above 50%. It means whatever percent you're at, the output will only be half as bright compared to having two batteries. Now all three of these powering options were designed to be mounted on a V-lock at the side of the fixture, meaning they all have very short header cables. Now it is a graceful solution for mounting your transformer brick and batteries, but if you want to keep your fixture weight minimal, you don't have the option of relocating these weights because of how short the cable is. Now Aperture did inform me that they are aware of this and will be releasing an extension cable that will hopefully rectify the stalemate. But being able to relocate the power supply would also be great for another reason, because the fixture is weather resistant. It's rated at IP54, which means it's splash resistant, so technically the LS60s can stay on while getting rained on. Being weatherproof certainly adds a whole tier of practical value for these lights. The weatherproofing extends to the power connector, which is rated IP67, but it's really beyond the connector you have to worry about. Your batteries probably aren't weatherproof, neither is the transformer brick, so it would be a good idea to keep those away from the light and someplace dry when the extension cable does come along, but until then, do make sure to manually waterproof your power supply if you do plan to wet your LS60s. Now, one thing about the LS60 lights is they do not ship with a remote control unit like most light storm fixtures do. They do, of course, get full sideless link compatibility along with all the lighting effects. And the lights probably arrive in the cutest carrying cases from Aperture. The 60D is only $369. The 60X does break the $400 mark by a smidge at $419. I do like to think of these as a modern reimagination of the trusty old 650 watt tungstens. It can do everything the tungstens can, except they are now smaller, draw less power, can be powered off batteries, don't get hot, are compatible with modifier accessories, and are weatherproof. Also, you can control it with your phone. I've got purchase links down below if you're interested in picking one of these up. In my opinion, these are fantastic lights to own because you will almost always find a way to use them. And that's all I've got on the LS60s, and I'll see you in one of my other videos.